Hello everyone, welcome to the Horror Room. I'm Travis Bruce and today we're doing another 2B Spotlight. We have director of two movies that are streaming on 2B right now. I have Richard Mansfield. His two okay. movies are 13 Sherwood Avenue and The House on Mansfield Street. How's it going, my friend? Very well, thank you, Travis. How are you doing? Good, 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 good. So um, tell every, everybody a little bit about, let's go for first on the 13 Sherwood Avenue. That's your latest movie. Yes, that's come out probably in the last two weeks. And that is, it's a found footage, single um, setting uh, horror movie, uh, supernatural horror movie. Uh, and it's all recorded on um, the CCTV cameras, uh, which are guy, uh, which is uh, the lead character um, who was just set up in his house as part of like a, um, a sort of security system, which is linked to an AI home system called Home Vibe. And so it's, it's a bit like Alexa and it records him and, you know, it, it, it plays his music, he talks to it, it sends messages and then it sort of starts misbehaving and potentially is picking up something in the house that shouldn't be there, which is linked to um, an incident that he had a year ago. So it's kind of a sort of break in paranormal thriller all, all just done on uh on security on this security system and and the ai system that he's sort of interacting with it's pretty interesting because you know i'm a huge alexa fan <laughs> i have alexa all throughout the house and i was like no one has this is a unique situation in a horror oh, yeah. movie where something that most of us have in our house now what if exactly what if that turns against us yeah, what if it connected to something that it shouldn't do? And, you know, what if that was, you know, it's a death, someone else in your house. That's kind of creepy. And they do. And I was watching videos of them malfunctioning and thinking, well, this is quite a good sort. You know, it's a good sort of jumping off point for a horror film. And I think I'd always written that like, I want to do a, a haunted Alexa movie. Of course, not calling it Alexa because I don't want to get. You do that, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to <laughs> But in the movie, we knew who it was. We knew it was Amazon and so yeah, forth. It was, it yeah, was its own right. sort of, there was a whole, I made like, um, I, I sort of do design work as well. So I created loads of labels. So when he's receiving, like he receives, it starts ordering things that it shouldn't be ordering. Um, and it's sort of like, you know, I made all these labels and printed them and made up sort of Amazon kind of packages that, yeah. you know, that give it. So there's a sort of, I, I like to kind of create a bit of a world, even though it's very minimalist in terms of the film. But yeah, so it's uh, yeah, it's it's it seems to be it seems to be doing all right. It's hard to tell because we don't get to be in the UK, so we're kind of relying on people on the you know Facebook uh, groups to be, uh, you know, screenshotting it and saying that they're watching it. And uh, yeah, it's uh, I'm really pleased so far. Yeah, I definitely um, watch it. I I'm a huge fan of the found footage type movies. Yeah, um, I love the Blair Witch. I love you know the That's paranormal it. activity. Yep. So. What made you decide, because um, we're going to talk about um, a previous movie of yours, which is The House on Mansfield mm -hmm. Street. I love this movie. Cool. Thank you. Um, <laughs> and this is another found footage movie. Yes. So what made you decide to stick more to the found footage side of horror? Yeah, so it, sort of, it, it started, I moved from London to Nottingham um probably was it six six and a half years ago now and before then i was doing um it was pretty much all just traditional narrative film i've made quite a few and then i kind of one of my films mixed in fan footage which is called video killer uh, also on tubi of course and uh, and i think i thought that was gonna people were gonna go for it but i think it was neither one thing nor the other and fan footage audiences didn't go for it and maybe narrative film uh, fans didn't go for it so I think when I moved to um, when I moved to Nottingham, I started just recording the move um, just on my phone, just so I had all this footage, and it ended up being the beginning of the film where I just wrote, I pretty much wrote a film um, as to, so that sort of fitted our experience of leaving the city and going to another city, and it just sort of it, it was kind of fun because I was worried that I wouldn't be able, to, you know, moving to a new city, I wouldn't know any actors. Um, or I, I knew a couple of people, but I didn't know a lot of people. Um, and so I just sort of shot this footage thinking, well, maybe I'll use it, maybe I won't. Um, and then I, I kind of had the idea with, with someone who'd also moved to you know, sort of doing a bit of a mirror of my own experience story. And we just thought, well, we'll, we'll do a sort of paranormal, you know, our own little mini paranormal activity 
uh, and I was lucky enough to meet I knew Catherine already who uh, who plays Emma uh, she already was here and through uh, through the local uh, lace market theatre which is uh, does a lot of Amdram productions I met Matt uh, Matthew Hunt who plays Nick and yeah it just it was it was shot over three days we'd had like um we'd had quite a lot of we'd had this amazing snowstorm so I'd also again shot footage of that wow. just hoping to you know it doesn't really get we don't often have snow that good in the UK it's sort of it's quite rare so I thought you know I'd, I'd work it into the story and uh it just sort of became a kind of mirror of the ex, you know the experience that um we were having moving to Nottingham except the house wasn't actually haunted or at least not that I knew anyway <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So I'm not going to give away any spoilers uh, regarding um, uh, Mansfield Avenue, yeah. but is there going to be a sequel? Possibly. I have written Emma? a script. I have for Mansfield Street too, so it's it would be a sort of it would be in a different house, um, and it would be uh, currently it's about a couple that move to the street sort of further away. And they have, uh, they hear weird noises coming from next door, uh, which sounds like a sort of uh, domestic incident, which then turns into something more, even more sinister, I should say. Not that that isn't sinister in itself. Uh, So, yeah, so, but I'll wait and see. I've got to find the people to, you know, I've got to find some uh, some new characters, uh, new actors. So I'm working on it. (laughs) Okay. Yeah, because the last one, it really didn't tell us. Well, I'm not going to give anything away, but it didn't tell us it did, no. yeah. story. Yeah. yeah, it was sort of like a, it was weird, and what was you know why why was this happening? And I think I wanted to leave it ambiguous. And I think in the in the sequel it would still be ambiguous, but you kind of find out a bit more. It's still okay. sort of you know hopefully going to give more of the same Mansfield Street stuff, but with you know with a slightly different I don't know vibe to it who knows <laughs> it's hard it's hard to know when you make a sequel whether I've made a sequel before and sometimes they are popular sometimes they aren't you know you can everyone will love the original and then you make a sequel and everyone just goes Phew. so <laughs> it literally is a coin flip <laughs> it really is yeah 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 so so yeah no I, I would I would love to do another one um uh, so watch this space yeah definitely and what something I love about found footage horror movies is it's the the scary part is the unknown. There's not a actual villain, physical villain there for you to see. You don't know. Yes. And, and I don't know if it's, I've seen a lot of found footage paranormal movies. It seems like the more the character gets involved with the spirit, the more aggressive the spirit gets. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is that something that? Yeah, I see. I guess it's sort of like it's um, it's like a sort of infestation, isn't it? Where you mm-hmm. start noticing little bits and pieces here and there, and then it escalates uh, until you know whatever you're in contact with is kind of going. Well, that's it. Yeah, you, you've you've opened the door and you can't close it. <laughs> yeah, and it just gets worse and worse. Now, mm-hmm. now, did you shoot um, all of your movies in the UK? Uh, yes, see, yeah, I haven't done anything. I haven't done anything abroad yet. I don't think. Um, no, so everything's been either London or Nottingham. Um, I, you know, I, I do sort of shoot stuff uh, when I go on holiday. I, th- I thought I'd love to make a, a movie abroad, but it, it's quite. It's difficult getting even for a simple film. It's difficult getting people in the same space at the same time. So yeah. I think adding a travel, a trip overseas might, you know, would, well, it would complicate it, but maybe for the right thing, maybe it's worth, you know, it'd be worth the challenge. Yeah. You were talking about earlier about um, distribution to the United States. Yes. Is that something that's a challenge? Um, not really. I mean, I used to just do Amazon um, and you can do Amazon yourself, but they've made it harder and harder for um filmmakers to uh they, they've not taken my last two films um and there's no they don't say why they just say you know it's it's now curated rather than you can upload anything um so i've sort of changed to a, a digital distributor who then has access to places like tubi and to be honest like that is where everyone's watching the films um and moving from like a prime subscription to more of an uh a, a, um, what's it called so 
Avo, is it Avod? Advertising on demand, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. getting people watching it through Tubi is much, it has a much wider reach. I still don't know how many people watch it because we don't get access to any of those numbers. Um, but I've noticed that since I've put all the films on uh, Tubi, there's been a sort of a definite rise in, in people following the films and going, oh, right, I'm going to watch this one and then, you know, the, the next three and then, oh, there's a new one. So that people are more interested. And I think it's, they've got easier access to it than Amazon. Also, too, there's a huge, you know, horror community in, a, in the States. Yes, yeah, yeah. Horror fans love Tubi. Tubi has great indie, because if you're a true horror fan, you like the indie. Oh, yeah, horror movie. yeah. You don't like the, I mean, the big budget ones are fine, but you like the indie ones. And um, there's tons of indie horror movies there, and it's free on Tubi. And yeah, it, it's, some, it's definitely some gems, you know. I definitely, you know, I do a lot of indie with director, Tubi directors, horror directors. Yeah. And there are some hidden gems on Tubi that um, definitely deserve their recognition. Well, exactly. And it's sort of like, it's that kind of platform that just gives, um, that's got a bit of freedom, because you're not you're paying for it either. Um and it just means that you can just go and you can take a chance on anything. And mm-hmm. I guess it'll keep suggesting what, you know, what other people who also like that film like. So you, you could potentially end up watching right. loads of stuff that you wouldn't normally even know about. Um, do you have Plex in the US? Yes. Yeah, because that's sort of, I, I, my film, most of my films are on Plex as well. And that's, I don't really notice much of that from the States, more from the, actually the UK. Um, mm-hmm. That seems to have a higher viewing, higher viewing figures in the UK. But I, I guess it's a similar thing where you don't. I watch stuff from there as well, and uh, it, it just you just get to see independent stuff that would otherwise never be released. Yeah, I mean, Tubi is blown up in the states. Yeah. It's blowing up. I mean, as you know, there's Tubi groups on Facebook making suggestions, and it's huge. Yeah, and I had, yeah, I had. I, I, it's I, like I the new thing. Yeah. I've, I've advertised the latest film on one of the TV pages, and uh, yeah, it got good, got good engagement, um, much more than probably if I just posted it myself. So, uh, um, yeah, no, loving, loving Tubi right now, even though I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> maybe so we'll get it in the UK. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, so you should, you guys should. I mean, because I mean, there's a lot of UK directors. Yeah. Um, I've interviewed a couple, and um, that are putting their you know the projects on Tubi and they can't do it Tubi themselves I mean I'm like that sucks it, it does yeah and I think it's a shame because you can't really see like what you know what other films it's recommending that mm-hmm. you could kind of go down that night in a horror rabbit hole <laughs> yes. Uh, yes but yeah yeah so who, who knows maybe we'll get it here soon um I think horror fans here would love it so yeah so it definitely would now are there a lot of horror fans I'm assuming in UK Oh yeah, definitely. Um, I'm just trying to. I mean, I, in my in my sort of friendship group, I'm probably more one of the few that likes horror. But um, I think yeah, there's definitely there's quite a lot of horror groups, and I've just been chatting to um, like a horror museum about sort of um, they were asking about any props from the films, um, but I don't unfortunately. <laughs> I don't really. I don't really keep anything. Um, it all mm-hmm. tends to go, you know, once. I like to strike everything once I've finished a film, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I think there's, there's a, definitely a big appetite for horror. Yeah. That's awesome. So what's next for you? What, what kind of well, work? I'm, not, I'm not sure. So um, I've got a script for uh, House of Mansfield Street 2, currently titled Evil Next Door. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I'm writing a film which wouldn't be found footage potentially about um, a guy who's alone in his house and starts receiving phone calls from the dead. So that's sort of that's in product. That's kind of in production. Um, again, it's, it depends on like what locations are available. I'm very much used to sort of finding locations that I can use. I would probably um, change things as to what location I can get hold of I might do a, I'd love to do a fan footage in the woods you know get my sort of mini Blair Witch I mean I love the Blair Witch project yeah so, um, love it. I'd love to have a go at doing uh found you know found footage in the woods I've made a film called Scare Bear which is all set in the woods <laughs> that sounds great so yeah it's on it's on TV uh <laughs> it's, a, sort of, it's it. a 70s set folk horror um okay. it's got like sort of prog electro soundtrack um 
But and it's, I suppose it's got elements of found footage because the guy's carrying a eight millimeter camera, and you're seeing some of the you know the the film that he's shot whilst he sort of gets uh, followed around by Mr. Bones the bear. <laughs> nice. I got that on, on my list now. Put it on there, yeah. Yes. <laughs> so my fans find you. How Sorry, so that again. You? So how can people find you on social media? Um, Mansfield Dark on Facebook. Um, I think if you just Google Mansfield Dark Productions. Uh, I'm on Twitter, but I don't really use that. Again, I think it's just at Mansfield Dark. And again, Instagram. Where else would I where else would I be? Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. TikTok. Um, what else is there? <laughs> I think that might be it. There, there, I don't know any other ones. Yeah. <laughs> That's enough for me. It's bad enough with those, you know, I okay. <laughs> Yes. But definitely everyone check out on Tubi, brand new movie. I enjoyed it. 13 Sherwood Avenue. And also after you watch that, go ahead and swing back and watch The House on Mansfield Street. Absolutely. Yeah. And there's also the investigation series and there are three movies uh, in that series, all fan footage and they're on Tubi as well. Actually, if you if you put in um, Richard Mansfield on Tubi under the search, it actually pulls up all of his movies. What is it? Oh, excellent. Do that as well. So oh, do that, that as well. Great. Yeah, do that. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, Richard, thank you for coming on. Um, I definitely you. want to have you on in, in the future to promote your future products as well yeah, as part two too. of Mansfield. I will want, I definitely want to talk about that. Everyone, thank you for coming to the Harbor once again. I'm Travis Bruce. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you, Travis. Thank you so much.